Damn it! Hello, America. Americans will have to pay the extra tethering charges while everyone else outside the US don't. Hi folks, nice from HighlandAndroid.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. I know a lot of you been installing custom ROMs, uh, brooding your phone to get free Wi-Fi tether working, especially on AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, all the US carriers. Um, they like to lock it down and uh, it sucks that they lock this down. And if you go to other countries um, like South Korea, it is part of the data plan. Why do we have to pay twice uh, for the same internet we already paid for? It is the same internet and they're charging you extra 20, 30 dollars for tethering. It sucks. Anyway, uh, there's a new way to get around it. It's called X Tether. Uh, let's go take a look at it and install it. So let's go do this, baby. Hi, folks. So let's go ahead and do this. There's this thing called X Tether. Um, you'll need the Expose module. So go ahead and type on your uh, uh, browser, type Expose Installer. I'll also have the direct links on my site so you can check it out. Um, but you can also follow along this with this video. Go ahead and grab the Expose Installer. Uh, if you do already have this app, you don't have to grab this again. You just need to grab the, uh, the X Tether app. Uh, let me go ahead and download this. That's downloading. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and type exposed X Tether like that. All right. And we're going to go ahead and download X Tether. This is the actual app that's going to allow us uh, to tether free. Um, I'm going to go ahead and download the latest APK file there. And once both files have been downloaded, we're going to simply install both. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install the Expose Installer first. You'll get Install Blocked if you don't have Unknown Sources checked on. Simply check Unknown Sources on OK. Install. All right. And let's go install the next one, the actual Xtether app. Uh, same thing here. Ah. If you happen to lose uh, lose it like that. Just use My Files app, and uh, you'll be also be able to f find it uh, under Download History. All right, I'm gonna go to Settings again, or you can always leave the unknown sources on if you want to. Um, that's not a bad deal either. All right, once that's done, go ahead and open Expose Installer app, and then go to Framework. Hit OK. Hit Install Update. And make sure you hit grant when super user request pops up. Um, say cancel, don't reboot yet. Go to f modules here. Go ahead and click on Moto Tether. All right, that's the X Tether. Go ahead and restart. And we'll be back uh, when this is done rebooting. All right, my phone has rebooted. Uh, let's see if it works. Um, so what you wanna do is go into settings. Uh, go to your tethering and Wi-Fi hotspot and go ahead and turn it on here. There we go. And it is working. So let's go ahead and verify uh, that's actually working. I'm gonna go ahead and sign into it uh, from my note to here, just to prove you to that it does work. All right, let me go ahead and find the Galaxy S55290. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and enter the password BM X R six seven two four, and it is obtaining IP address. It is connected, and you can see on the left also. Uh, let me go ahead and just bring up a random site here, and there you have it. Uh, now you may need to do additional um, stuff if you're using a Motorola phone. I'll have the information on my site. Go check it out. Uh, but for most Samsung devices and uh, most Android devices, um, this should work out of the box. Um, so you know you, it can't hurt to try. So definitely go ahead and try it. And if you get Tether, uh, congratulations. Um, you know that's it. And thanks guys for watching this video. As always, don't forget to hit that like button here and subscribe to this channel and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, as always, I stay. Yeah. on Android.